Link in the combos. No, we didn't complete it. Oh, we were so close. Oh, the. Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on Beam NG with the R21 from Moza Racing here on the Drift Challenge to try to beat my old score that I did with the R9, which was 11,000 points. We're going to try and beat that. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are in the description box below. Let's get to it. So this is that Drift Challenge we're going to try and beat. 11,000 points with the R21. And also try not to break our our hands in the process. With the force feedback at 90% on the wheel. It's actually a lot more stable than I remember the R21 being, or the R9 being. Keep the drift. No! We needed to keep that drift combo going if we wanted to beat our old score, but let me see what we can do. The Moza R9 score was 11,000. I'm surprised we managed to keep that. We're on the R21 now with the Moza handbrake and the RS V2. I think we did. Okay, so we beat our old score. So we got 12,000 this time. So we did beat our all time old score. Just three months ago, we did run some testing to get wheel settings. So we did beat our old score, but we didn't get the 1400 or the 2000 or the 200,000 yet. Or the 20,000, 200,000. What am I talking about? <laughs> so we're going to try that again. We need to link this whole course. The R21 is actually feeling quite nice in beam. We gotta keep the drift score going. Means we gotta keep in drift almost the entire course, I feel like, to get this and complete this. And this is the hardest part about it. It's coming around this corner. There we go. That's much better. Keep the drift score. Stay off the wall. Nope. No! We lost the drift score. Oh, that would we needed to Monty that to keep that. If we wanted any chance of getting the 20k. Not gonna lie, the R21 feels so nice on beam. Way nicer than the R9 did. So we're getting higher. Each time we're getting higher and higher on points. But we still have not gotten there. We got 13,000. We're less than 500 points short of completing it. We just need to mind you that one section. In order to uh, keep our points. No! Nope. That's not gonna do it. We're gonna restart that because that's not gonna do it. <laughs> Gotta try and not damage the car. And surprisingly, we haven't hit hard enough to where uh, the wheel has snapped out of my hand. It's probably a good thing. Lock ourselves in drift. There we go. So we didn't link those two, so we're gonna have to. Oh, we didn't link that either. Oh, well, this is gonna be a not so good run. Already starting off, not the greatest. We can mind you that maybe we can salvage something out of this run. We link this whole course. The remaining section of it anyways. Yep. Link this this way! 
I don't know how we saved that from losing all those drift points, but this is where we need to be right now. Link in the combos. I have offhand protection on so that if it does start wrecking, I can let go of the car and have not have the wheel snap. We were on point there. We would have had that. All right, rip. All right, one more time. We got this. Appreciate in. Utilizing a good amount of handbrake though to keep this car sideways. Keep those chain alive. Nope. Too much brake. Too much brake. We're going to get this. We had it. We were so close. It wasn't straight. Watch kick it in. Slowly drift that in. There we go. Off the rock face. It was really close to the rock face. So was that one. Seems to be easier if we cut this in further. No! Oh, too much! Ah. Oh. We're going to get this for the end of the episode. If you guys have done this challenge on Beam, let me know down below what your score is, your highest score. I'm very curious to see where people are in this. I think I'm actually doing this challenge better on the 21 than I did before. It actually feels quite nice here. Like I said before, the 21 feels really good in Beam for some reason. Drifts. Here we go. This is what we wanted. That's not what we wanted. <laughs> oh, I didn't. All the, all the times that I would want to do a wall tap, that was not one of them. So, one more try. We have to get this. We're so close. We're on the heater of getting this. Not when we do that, though. Bye. And offhand protection. Very, very important. <laughs> Which is weird that when I can let it go, the offhand protection does activate. But when I'm drifting, the offhand protection doesn't activate. Normally, you don't want offhand protection on when you're drifting. But it seems to work quite well here in this situation when I'm beam. Probably because I still have some sort of friction on the wheel. With my hand touching the wheel, oh, right there, I feel like the offhand protection did slightly hinder us on that. I think we're gonna, this is it. This is the money run right here. Buying this with the factory car. So we keep that combo alive. That was a very uh, cheesy way to keep that combo alive, but you know what? It worked. No, oh, we ran out of that combo. No. Not gonna be it. 
we needed to not cut that so short that run because that is definitely what killed that run if you guys want to keep seeing Dean here on the channel let me know down in the comments down below and like I said if you've completed this challenge or this scenario in Beam, let me know down below what your score was and what car you you were using did I just lose handbrake weird That was kind of weird that we somewhat lost our handbrake. Did I break it? I think we may have overheated our handbrake? Or broke it in game? There was an off-hand protection fail. I feel like we're going to turn that off real quick. Same wheel settings if we can complete this challenge. The wheel does rotate much smoother without that when I'm letting go of the wheel, which is how it should be because it's not recognizing my hands off the wheel so it's not trying to stop the rotation of the force feedback oh my we cheated in keeping that keeping that one Keep the drift alive. This is what we wanted. No, where's the 20? Ah! 19,000. Oh, wait, we got the undamaged car. We got the 20 on that run with the offhand protection off. So 20,000 right there. Finally got three stars. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll let you find the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. As always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.